I've always had a love of animals all of my life, but it was um, my horse Wow. Um, I had a, I've got a beautiful 16-3 grey horse and he fell into a swimming pool. He got out of this swimming pool and he had broken his neck. It was really, really awful because I had the vets wanting to put him down and he'd broken his neck in three places and I thought there must be something I can do and I found myself in his stable just very gently putting my hands over his body and I felt this fantastic energy in my hands and my horse was just sighing and relaxing and just I could see that this was giving him great comfort and all I appeared to be doing was giving him love. I had this overwhelming feeling of love in my heart and I was just sending and pulsating this love but at the same time my hands were really vibrating with energy um, and it was just wonderful to see my horse relaxing right down. The book is all about how to heal your animals, how it is important to become very calm with your animals, how to be able to do hands-on healing. I'm in a very relaxed state with Morris, which is also inducing the healing. This isn't a placebo effect and anybody can do this. And so it's absolutely wonderful that I will be able to share with readers um, how they too can have a wonderful healing with their pet. Hippocrates' famous maxim is let food be your medicine and medicine is your food. Um, and so there's gonna be lots of wonderful tips in the book um, about growing some indigenous plant material in your own home. We've all got on the windowsill mint, um, aloe veras, um, calendula and these are all wonderful herbs that we can use ourselves but we can also use to help our pets. We're living in such a stressful world these days that animals actually can pick up on our emotions and so um, the stress that we're under um, today our animals are just like mirroring they can pick it up the course is all about how we rehabilitate animals. Morris here, for instance, is a rescue dog. Um, he's two years of age. He was left in a house on his own. He was abandoned. And of course, when he came to the rescue centre, um, he had a lot of emotional issues. Um, and, you know, this takes a long time, just like with humans. Animals need to have the time to be able to rehabilitate and that is what we do. He's a year down the line now, and he's done so well. We've actually brought to the surface a lot of those emotional issues and let them go, like we do with humans. So it's like pet therapy.